Okay, gang, we're adding the flavoring hops. Stir it in. Arrow. Okay, our next step. It says to add aromatic hops two minutes before the end of the boil. For hop aromatics. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> I recently bought a solar system and it came from China. I wish that their directions were as explicit as uh, the directions that came along with this kit. They're excellent. During this boil, I added seven coffee cups, cups like this, back into the to the brew. Quite a bit of water evaporating, and this pot is smaller than what they recommended, but it's the largest one that I had available. And I'm in the process of scaling down, selling off tools, getting rid of books, clothes, I'm going to fix up an old van of mine and uh, has very low miles. It's an 84 Chevy van, 20, with uh, only about 85,000 miles on it. So I'm going to have a local mechanic that I know replace everything that needs to be replaced invest up to I'm figuring five to five hundred to a thousand dollars and uh, build myself a uh, a cargo trailer I sell my motorcycle and uh, go see the country Okay. For those that have stuck with me, thank you. I hope this helps. That's the reason I started doing things like this uh, YouTube business. Because I've learned quite a bit from others who shared. I thought, well, maybe I can help some folks. Pay back a little bit. I know I've saved 
at least a couple thousand bucks by doing finding out how to repair different things on vehicles that I've owned. And there's guys out there that are sharing there's things that are you know a normal a person not in the business would never know things that loosen the opposite way tools that you wouldn't know that you would need for certain things I'm specifically talking about a an Aurora 2003 Aurora that I purchased and the window didn't go up and down properly and uh, wow I saw on YouTube where a woman was paying a guy or maybe not a guy at a dealership $500 every time this thing broke on her and I went to I found out what I needed through YouTube the guy showed me how to do it or every the world how to do it and I believe I spent five dollars for the part this poor lady was spending five hunt over five hundred dollars and the thing kept breaking it's a weak point on the system and it had to do with a plastic clip okay we're winding down so that's it guys so just to recap specialty grains we put that into a cheesecloth sock uh, let it steep for 15 minutes removed it at about 170 degrees um, added the the malt extract maltodextrin and bittering hops let that chooch for for an hour then we uh, added the uh, Irish moss Yeah, Irish moss 15 minutes ago and then we added flavoring hops 10 minutes ago and the final aromatic hops 2 minutes ago now I'm going to shut her down and the next step is to put it put it in some ice some very cold water get the temperature down to 70 degrees as fast as possible so no bacteria can get into it and then I'll pour it into the crock and when everything cools down then I'll be adding yeast it says dry ale yeast and then what I do is I cover up the, the carboy or the crock <clears throat> with a towel and uh, try and not let any light affect the yeast working and she's going to bubble and I use this to stop her I fill it up with water some people use vodka uh, and then the gas that's created when the yeast is working doing its thing it'll bubble out this cap has a few holes in it and the gas escapes and it doesn't boil over and make a mess which is really nice after that <clears throat> when I go to bottle <clears throat> and I'll show that in my next video priming sugar so I add that into some water mix it up and and pour it in each bottle when I'm uh, 
when I'm bottling it. In the past, I've just used the sugar, put a spoon in, and put about a half a spoon in there, and it worked out fine, but I'm going to follow the directions to a T this time. Okay, then. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe if you would. And uh, you all have a great day. And be safe.